What's going on YouTube? It's Castle Scope. We back another one, and this is the UI Colors version two because I literally forgot one thing, but I might as well just explain the process again. But make sure when you're doing this that you have everything. Uh, you're just gonna pay attention to every step in here, right? So just pay attention. All right. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is go to your file explorer and wherever you have your files, type in file explorer, whatever you have. All right. So now when you're here. You're gonna go to wherever you have Adobe and Photoshop. So I have Adobe in my volume D, so I'm going to Adobe, Adobe Photoshop 2021, and then go to your required. All right, and then you're gonna scroll down to UI colors. Now your UI colors is where you're gonna change everything. But what you're gonna want to do first is make a copy because I'm not responsible if you guys start messing up everything in your UI colors. So just press Control C on your original UI colors, and then you press Control V, or you can right click, copy and then click off somewhere in the distance and paste it underneath right but in this case i don't have to do that so it's fine all right so the things that you're going to change are as follows you're going to change your widget scroll bar arrows your widget scroll bar elevator fill ruler text widget button fill press widget button stroke scrolling list selected default i'm going to put that in the description if you guys get confused about that so you're going to double click on here and these are this is where you're going to enter all your values but first we need to get a color so go to wherever your browser is I'm um, going to Google and type in hex color in your browser and then just press search and it's gonna bring up this bar Okay, so with this bar you can choose whatever color like your heart desires uh, in this case I'm gonna stick with my like really bright red I guess I'll put it like this somewhere on that hue and what you're gonna do is copy the RGB value So 240 14 14 you're just gonna press control C Okay, you're gonna go back on your UI colors and now we're gonna fill in all those uh, values that we need to do so what you're gonna do is go to first you could do you could do it in whatever order that you want to I'm gonna find my widget scroll bar arrows okay and okay so once you find them you're going to uh, enter the first three values it's not the last don't mess up the last value or it's not gonna change anything it's just gonna look weird so it's gonna be the first three so instead of these I'm just highlighting them with my air with my mouse like this and then I'm just pressing control V okay so you're just gonna do that on every every part of the or every part that you want to change on Photoshop for your colors all right so a really important thing that you're gonna to want to do when you're done say we were just technically done you go to file and save okay but sometimes people have problems with this and it's because of their preferences so what you're gonna to have to do if that's a problem for you I'm just gonna close out of this go to your file Explorer right click go to properties all right and once you're in properties go to security and now this is the problem some people don't have everyone on their uh, security so if you don't have everyone that's gonna not let you be able to save it so what you're gonna do is go to edit all right and then you're gonna go to add right here add and then you would type in E V E R check names and it will be everyone okay so once you were to add everyone you have to put um, full permissions for everyone allow full control modify read and execute read write allow all of those okay and then you would press okay all right and then uh, that's that's what would help you to be able to save if you couldn't save all right so the last thing that I want to let you guys know about this is once you're done you're gonna have to open up Photoshop again so when when you're doing this actually you don't have Photoshop open just close it just in case but go to Photoshop and we're gonna open it up all right so now I'm back in Photoshop I'm just gonna open a document real quick and uh, what you guys are going to want to make sure this is the part that I really wanted to just emphasize on here is go to edit, edit preferences and then go to your interface. Okay. And this is where some people get tricked up and say it doesn't work because you have four color themes. You have the lightest, you have the second lightest, first dark, second dark. All right. And the second dark is the one where you want to change it to, to have your UI colors, the customized colors that you picked right see that red there I still have some of my greens there but I'm gonna show you guys at the end just to show you that this does work um, and it's on my PC but yeah that's how you guys are gonna get your UI colors done on Photoshop and this is a really quick tutorial but really cool really dope it makes just the experience of editing for me a lot more fun so I hope it does help you guys out as well with that being said it's been Castle Scope and uh, if this helped you, drop a like, sub up to the channel if you guys are new, turn post notifications on so you guys know whenever I go live and good stuff like that. But with that being said, everybody stay scoped and I'm out. Peace.